this is an image I've not seen anywhere yet, but Michael Jordan playing tennis is the equivalent of Will Smith eating spaghetti videos. This week in AI Images, I have a new one for you guys to check out. It's called Hotspot, and they have a lot of cool features that I'm not seeing on every image generators because some are more focused on the actual art itself. But the others I have a lot of cool options like this corporate headshot one that I have not seen yet and regular AI headshots. I guess this is when you're using with just a random person, but you can probably upload your picture here. And of course they have the image generation and then they have a remote object with AI. Now this is something that you are seeing with more AI generating companies right now. And you have the logo generator, which I'm sure this Fox one you've probably seen on every logo generator. <laughs> Uh, ever uh, background removal and then upscale goes up to 10 times now if you know what this upscale button does it's crazy okay it really zones in on the pixels of your picture and then you can also colorize this is something that i have not seen a lot to make your black and white pictures look uh, colorful um, i think this is a Marilyn monroe one but anyway we're more interested in what other people are actually generating because i just want to see what crazy stuff people get into so without any further ado let's see what's going on over here at hot pot ai okay now they do have the same model as just about every other ai image generator where you can you know subscribe and get more features or you can just browse and see what everyone's creating before you decide to cough up some money okay now i'm just telling you right now hot pot is actually surprising me a little bit with the level of consistency for their images now let's check this out here right now that is that's a clean image, right? There's a lot going on in the image, but it's uh, very clean. I mean, the animal images I'm kind of exhausted by. It feels like it's, you know, something that could be easy. I want something that's challenging, okay? Like this one, for example. Now, the reason why images like this are kind of challenging because you have the whole hand situation. If you see how awkward this hand is, right? It's like, what is going on in this picture? <laughs> I love the, 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 the script here black hand holding car spray done uh in halal shape moon okay seriously i mean look at this look how difficult it is to get the hand correctly I mean, they're trying to look like you're squeezing something but someone's just not right about it like what is this finger right here and that's my point with ai uh image generations but let's continue and also hot pot ai doesn't load very well so just you know, be on the lookout for that because my internet is probably one of the fastest down her and i can't even see an image okay so ai image generator from hotpot they they lose a little bit from their their image is not even loading up um don't know what's going on here but quite interesting and it looks like you can i mean most of these image generators you can just grab the prompt if you enjoy it and then take it to somewhere else and then see what it comes up with but i guarantee you will never get the same image and that's the crazy part all right so uh hot pot as a you know just to look around and see what everybody's creating not the best all right not the best but they do have a lot of options you can use so let's slide on over to pixel lr and see what they're cooking up this week in ai image generators Okay, so here we are at Pixel LR, and let's see what people are generating this week in AI images. Now, I always tell you guys about realistic photos of people are the freakiest one because it looks like a real person, but it's not a real person, even though you can probably find someone in the world that looks like this. And I don't know what to do with that information, but you take it as you will. So here at Pixel LR, People focus more on that cartoon stuff. So if you're into, you know, creating some anime, weird cartoon stuff, Pixel LR might be the place you want to check out because I think every image has some kind of hint of animation to it. Even like this image right here, where it should be more realistic. Like you can see the couches have a animation cartoon style to them. So if you're looking for, you know, realistic images, I know you can type in realistic in the prompt, but Sometimes you just don't get it as real as you really thought you wanted it. Like even this picture right here, right? This, this looks fake. It looks like a person, but it looks like a fake person, if you know what I'm saying. And they get more cartoonish. So I think that is Pixel LR strength. Now, here we go. This is what I'm talking about right here. This is that nonsense. I'm talking about that 
for some reason people create disturbing images from these sites okay i mean look at the prompt extremely disturbing slender creature i'm not surprised right well why i don't even understand i mean look at all the other options for this image right for this prompt i mean that why unless you create a character for a movie i just don't get why i create that stuff there's so many other things you can create um i do see this motorbike here that has a really cool realistic tint to it but i guarantee you we can find something that's funky oh there we go well look at this tail here what what is that in the back and what is it you know what i mean what's what's going on back here but the shadows are actually pretty good here i must say all right let's see some other uh weird stuff going on here at pixel lr now these glasses you don't see a lot of pictures like this because no one's generating this but these actually look like i'm staring at you know a website for a glasses manufacturer or something it looks pretty pretty legit i would say not as cartoonish as everything else not bad here not bad is this is this that one actor or am i tripping <laughs> it is it's like a walmart version all right so pixel r's got the cartoon thing down but I don't know if, you know, if you're not into that type of style, you might have a hard time. Uh, this is an image I've not seen anywhere yet, but Michael Jordan playing tennis is the equivalent of Will Smith eating spaghetti videos. Because one, this doesn't even look like Michael Jordan. It is his funny looking stance, but he's stepping on the tennis ball. So he's about to hurt himself. And one hand is floating and it's somehow attached to that racket. <laughs> This is bad. This is bad all around. This is poor from start to finish. This couldn't have been more horrific in a lot of ways because the head looks like a cone, right? I mean, look at this. I can see that they got one thing right about Michael Jordan here is definitely the skin tone, okay? <laughs> they got the skin tone right, and I'm guessing probably the height. Now, how AI calculated this is beyond me. That's also a really big racket. Pause. That picture was horrific, okay? Now that, something I haven't seen, but hey, here's another athlete. Now this is uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. Now this actually looks a lot closer than Michael Jordan. So does that mean he's more famous than Michael Jordan? I don't know. Michael Jordan is pretty famous, but so is Ronaldo. But how come the AI can do his face way more accurate than he can Michael Jordan? Hmm. Conspiracy theory. Just for y'all. Okay, so I like this uh, this Real Madrid shirt here. It looks accurate, but the only problem is, look at this. You got two logos. And at what point would this become where I can just take this image and actually apply it to a shirt? Like, you know, the ones you can get from Shein or any of those Chinese remake factories. Like, wouldn't it be easier now? Like, I feel like we can make this in the U.S. or Spain or in Canada or whatever. You don't have to just, you know, be one of the Chinese manufacturers to get whatever you want. Because now AI can get pretty close and give you, and it can give you two logos. So you get a bonus logo. All right. So Pixel AR, people driving off some, some okay things. Not crazy. But let's go over to Ideogram and see what's shaking over there this week in AI images. All right, here we go. Now, if you've seen Ideogram, you've seen some of these uh, videos from this playlist before about AI images this week, you know that Ideogram is very good at doing 3D art and writing words inside images. They're actually probably the most accurate I've seen. If you try it with like Dali or Tra you know the ChatGPT 3 image model or Gemini, the spellings are way off in every year, right? You have to do a lot of iterations to get the spelling right. But if you look right here on Instagram, for example, just like that, right? Radar, very accurate. And this entire prompt is in what I'm assume, assuming is Russian. They have their own dictionary. All right, good. So let's go through Ideogram and see what's going on. Let's see what's popping. I'm going to ignore all the animals and cat images because I'm just tired of those personally. And I feel like you guys are too. Okay. 
car dragon. Now, this is an interesting prompt. Yeah, people in images are always the freakiest because what does AI think we look like? And what if it gets it right, but it gets things wrong? But this assumption state. But here's my point with uh, ideogram. You can see right here, Buenos Dias Familia. Like that's in a whole different language and it's spelled correctly. And you can send that to your family in a lot of ways. So if you look at the spell something images, I would always, you know, push you towards ideogram for whatever project you're working on. Um, but again, if you're good at images, you can always just now I do like this image one because I'm a big fan of the Porsche. Um, and here they have different versions of it. But you, again, this is this is not this is not bad. I'm guessing this is Eclipse, maybe I'm not sure, but I do enjoy the Porsche. So that's a nice touch to that image. This image is very disturbing and should not be online. OK, this image right here should not be online. Like what is up with the teeth? Oh, oh my God, there's there's three pairs of feet here. <laughs> OK, there's three pairs of feet here. OK, and what is happening here in her? OK, am I the only one seeing this? This is this is completely wild what's happening to her face here but that's besides the point you have to really skip what's happening with teeth here to get to that point so if i pointed out too early i'm sorry but let's go back here and just look at this teeth ratio ai looked like it just chose the amount of teeth that should be in this guy's mouth and just plopped it and her teeth look kind of scary as well because they they are not only his teeth but they're also pointing right at you now and that is disturbing in a lot of ways and one of her hands is actually black so she might she might be mixed too and uh we just are figuring it out by the picture there's a lot going on that's wrong here right i'm i'm trying to think like how does ai get this incorrectly like humans have two feet okay and it's very obvious and it's written since this is a language model you would assume that if humans have two feet that every image you generate with a person you can just put two pairs you know you can put two pairs of feet there how do you get the three <laughs> and and what is going on with the pose here right how do you get like the, like look at this foot here doesn't make sense with you know this gene the way it's coming out but anyway let's get out of this picture because it's freaking me out but that was that was definitely weird okay is there at any ai image generation picture with people you would you know you would definitely freak out a little bit as you can see ideogram very good at spelling and they have some pretty realistic shot too i would say this is more realistic than a lot of images we saw over at pixel lr or the new one i pop now that doesn't look real that looks okay minus of course the glasses they threw on them i'm guessing this was supposed to be a grandpa otter or something and i know i did say i was going to ignore the animals and i completely forgot that an otter is also an animal. I made that up. Wow, look at this setup here. This is actually kind of interesting because are we coming up in a culture where these are the new type of like celebrities? This is the new way people actually spend time, you know, is online talking to a screen, kind of like what I'm doing right now, even though I'm talking to a mic, but you know, essentially I'm talking towards a screen and this is kind of our culture right now and ai is doing a pr pretty good representation of it i mean look at this cozy room featuring the name kevin wow there goes my ideogram is good at spelling kev do written in black and blue on the wall so they have everything written there except for what you wanted oh wait a minute oh the name kev do wow okay so that was part of the prompt i i lied i apologize ideogram but I don't see the name Kevin anywhere. You don't see the name Kevin? I don't see the name Kevin. But anyway, that is interesting that AI can capture what we do. <laughs> what everyone on YouTube or TikTok, you know, have their setup like this is like a dream setup for anyone. If you are, you know, personality online, that's a dream setup. And that's actually kind of crazy to have that. Anyway, so that's Ideogram. And you can see they're good at 3D stuff and obviously writing. And let's slide over to Mid Journey who never disappoints with their images. Let's see what's cooking up over at Mid Journey. Oh, I mean, look at this. The moment we get to Mid Journey, we get diversity. 
in images. It's just wild. Like this one, for example. <laughs> like, what on planet Earth? I mean, is this an alien? That weather glass is so big. Is he bald? I don't. I don't get what's going on. But I didn't choose the solar eclipse cosplay life. Okay, chose me. Interesting. All right. But you see with Mid Journey, you get the realism in images, right? You get that realistic feel. Like even this right here. This looks like a scene from Transformers. Okay. I mean, look at it. It's crazy. It, it, they get the realism here. I don't know what Mid Journey and how they're really getting it done, but they they actually get the right image for the right colors and the right spectrum. I mean, just look at this for example. I mean, I couldn't tell you what was his original skin tone, right? Because based on the hair, it's all confusing, but dang, it's 35 year old American male. Okay, very specific. All right, let's go through some mid journey. All right, ignoring all the animals who enjoy cars, but I feel like cars are easy to do there, as there's so many of them, so many variations. But, there, but there's moments like this where I wonder if Mercedes can sue for this right because you know amg is part of mercedes and if somebody can just print this out why can't i just make an actual 3d printing of it and print out my own amg seat covers if i gave you an idea for that don't do it don't quote it you didn't get it from here now mid journey does make cool cloud videos as well or cloud images kind of like ideogram as well like that's an interesting image with the half moon and I think drinks and food are still a struggle. Drinks and food are still a struggle. If you agree with me, comment, let me know, or if I'm making that up. But drinks and food are still kind of a struggle for AI image generators. Wow, okay. So Mid Journey has some pretty cool stuff this week. Nothing as disturbing as we saw in past weeks and other videos, if you follow this playlist. All right, so last thing we're gonna go through is one of my favorites is Night Cafe, and they're very good at making cloud videos. So let's head over at Night Cafe and see what they've been cooking up with AI images this week. All right, Night Cafe. Now this is one of the newest ones that we've also checked out, but there's some reason, I, and I can't figure out how the difference between all of these AI image generators can be so vast is it people generating it or because i've tried typing in the same prompt in all of these and the variation is crazy so it seems like you know maybe this company like night cafe for example is working with more parameters than others or more tokens etc uh, i'm not really sure but some of them just get better images like mid journey for sure you just get the most quality video game you get super good quality as well uh, the other ones are you know a toss-up all right, so let's go through some night cafe images and ignore the animals as much as we can because there's 50,000 of them. Now I see here with night cafe, they must have a new update that is moving the images as well. And I don't know if I'm a big fan of that. I feel like if you're taking a picture, you kind of wanted it to be a picture. You know what I mean? Unless like somebody, you hand somebody your phone and you tell them to take a picture, but they've been doing a video the whole time by accident. I'm not seeing anything crazy with night cafe today other than this demon skull but again not that difficult to recreate cats cats now nah, this is some weird stuff like how do people get into this frame of thinking <laughs> like i love the comments so great this came out so beautiful like it's real what no no it's, it's not real it's not real at all what i'm just taking a sigh for all of humanity you guys are welcome okay so more animals and you know more some, some of the same images that we've seen uh, other than this one does look pretty cool uh, but there's so many of these like space feature type of images from these ai generators that almost makes it you know in a lot of ways you like you kind of get tired of them okay like this picture right here right cool cool ai looking lady but i mean come on celestials we're, we're tired of it anywho so that was night cafe and nothing really crazy this week looks like the people hopping on night cafe have not had enough coffee this week so they're not generating anything 
wild and out of control but you guys saw some crazy stuff and that's been our update for ai images this week so tune in next week let's see what other people are going to generate next week because every week we get something crazy right now if you guys like these playlists you can follow more right here you can see that there are more weeks some of these weeks have been hilarious in the things that you could possibly see with uh ai image generators so tune in on the next one and we'll see you there deuces Thank you.